Um, I'm going to tell you, that was the good. Here's the bad. The constant e-bagging, well, you know, when, when that, that's bad, all right? But it's entertaining, or it was for the first couple of years, but then it just sort of got old. Um, I'm not the guy who says, motherfucker, you're wearing a gold sub. You know, how dare you e-bag? It's part of the shtick. You buy into Archie, you buy into the shtick. So I really, you know, didn't have any problem with that. But, but you know, eventually it just gets old, especially while he's traveling, you, you know, the world on entertainment. Now, he says it's to gather stuff for the fuckers, which is us. Um, and I would believe that, except for the fact that the shit that he films over there is all B-roll crap. You know, it's terrible. So he'll make 35 videos, you know, traveling. Go watch the Japan ones. This is just awful. Um, yeah. It's just B-roll stuff with no real thought. Just a quick attempt to get YouTube views for Google revenue. Um, no thought, no editing. Um, and that's the other thing. Um, the, the repetitiousness of his topics is just killing me. I mean, you know, if you, if you watched the first year or two, there was variety. There were a variety of watches. But um, now he just repeats the same topics. If I hear man in the fucking moon, if I hear that again, you know, I'm just like going to stab my ears out with ear, you know, with ice picks. Um, it's enough. It's enough of that. Um, and the way he does a lot of his stuff, I have a deep respect and a lot of compassion for the mentally challenged, okay? But his antics are not those of a, of a person of normal intelligence. So there's something wrong with this guy. Um, his filters are wrong, or he's got Tourette's, you know, maybe. Um, treatment might be an option for him. The thing that gets me, you know what gets me? The thing that gets me, fuckers, you want to know the thing that gets me? What gets me? The thing that gets me. And if you're an Archie Luxury, uh, if you're an Archie Luxury subscriber, what I just did, you know what I'm talking about. You know. You know what I'm talking about, fuckers. Fuckers, you know what I'm talking about. It's all over, Red Rover. Red Rover, it's all over, fuckers. He repeats himself over and over and over. Endless repetition. That is filler to try and be able to gather... <laughs> the dog. That's filler to be able to kind of gather thoughts together and piece together a coherent sentence. Um, but rather than just stop the video and edit or have the ability to articulate something, you know, no. He just repeats himself over and over. He does that in words and in sentences. He does that in concepts, meaning, you know, be, you know, you'll, you'll, he'll just set the camera down and you'll watch him eat. Um, uh, it's not attractive. Um, and there's very little thought that goes into those videos. But then that has become the problem with the watch reviews, too. Um, it's an endless suggestion of man on the moon, man on the fucking moon, and, um, uh, you know, the polar explorer. He has a very, very small repertoire. Um, very, very small. So um, that's some of the bad. And the last thing I'm going to say that's bad is Mimi. I'm sorry. You're really cute, but oh my God. Like, I, the Mimi videos are unwatchable. And if you've been an Archie Luxury subscriber for any length of time, you know Mimi is probably the third person he has tried to bring in to just essentially do his job for him and make it easy. Um, so I have nothing against you, Mimi. You're really cute. And, and honestly, you should start your own channel um, because Paul is a holdback. He, he's not going to help you. But we're, watch, we're like dudes looking for a men's watch channel, um, and he has turned it into something kind of feminine. So that was the good. That was the bad. I want to talk to you about quick the ugly.